The sales process can often start with a sales quotation. So if we go into our sales uh, daybook and let's go on to the quotes tab, you can see here I have already a sales quotation that I've taken from a customer, given to a customer, and they are now ready to proceed with that uh, request. So let's process this through to an invoice. So from the quotes daybook, I'm going to select the convert button and I'm going to convert that sales quotation through to a sales order. I'll say OK to that. And what will happen is the quote will go from the quotes daybook. And if I now go on to my orders daybook, I'll see down here that I have my sales order ready to be picked and dispatched. So the next process would be indeed to go and pick that order. So I could go through here and individually pick each line with the quantity that I require. But what I am going to do is take advantage of a neat little feature in Exchequer, which is the auto pick. So if I select that option there, I will go and pick, and as you can see, uh, the second line on this order has been picked automatically with 10, but the first line hasn't. So let's have a look why. Let's drill into that uh, line and go into the drill down into the stock code. And we can see that it is the fact that I don't have any stock that I'm unable to pick that. So the next logical thing for me to do is to go and raise a purchase order for that item. So what I could do is uh, go into the purchase table over here and raise a purchase order. But what I am going to do is uh, take advantage of another good feature inside Exchequer, and that's the back-to-back -back ordering process. So if I select the back-to-back -back order option, um, it's gonna come up with the, the simple little wizard to help me create that sales, uh, that purchase order from the sales. So I've got my supplier here. I've got this little option here to automatically pick the sales order when I receive the goods. I could, if I wish, for some filtering processes, exclude and include some different line types, which are predefined, but I'm just going to include all of them for now. And on the final stage of the wizard, I'm going to make sure that I don't over-order any stock. So I've got the third option there selected, less any stock already picked on the order. So if I say finish now, it's going to say, please confirm, and I shall allow Exchequer to do that. And it's now created that purchase order for me for the remaining stock that I need. So if we close everything down and drop into the purchase order daybook now, you can see there's the order we've just created. And like we did previously with the sales order, I'm now going to receive those goods into stock. So again, I shall use the auto feature and say auto receive. It's now received those items. I'm going to say OK to that. And the next process will be to take that order and actually put it into the stock inventory. So I'm going to deliver that order and create a purchase delivery note and there it is you can see there open that up and there's the purchase delivery note for the same item and ultimately of course we are going to have to pay for those goods so we will be invoiced by our supplier so what I can very simply do now is just invoice that delivery and say okay to that and it's now generated me a purchase invoice awaiting me to settle that with my supplier meanwhile if we go back to the sales order day book we'll see that there's the sales order that we're waiting to fulfill and supply our customer with if I go onto my quantity pick tab, you'll see that that quantity of 250 has now been automatically picked as part of the process. So that's good. We're all set to go now. So I can now deliver this order. So I shall now create a sales delivery note. And it's done that for me. There you go. And finally, of course, I would like to invoice my customer. So as I did with the purchase, I can go invoice this delivery. Say OK to that. It's generated me the invoice. And if we go onto the main daybook, you can see there's my sales invoice all ready to go to my customer. So that's a very simple, quick and effective demonstration of some of the sales order processing techniques available to you inside Exchequer.